Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Okay, so today we're going to be doing some yoga. We're going to be doing seated and standing chair-based yoga. It's gonna be modified poses, so it's appropriate for all levels. You can modify it to suit your needs. Um, as always, just wanna make sure that you are aware that you need to have a sturdy, solid chair that's got no wheels, it's not going to roll on you, it's not gonna slide on you, um, preferably no armrests. Make sure that your workout area is free of any clutter or tripping hazards. If you need to wear sturdy shoes uh, for this, most people will, so please go ahead and do that before we start. Make sure that you have some water. Stay hydrated before, during, and after your workout, and we've got some gentle meditation type music for you. So hopefully you will enjoy that. So let's go ahead and get started. So have a seat. Again, be sure that you're working at your own level. So if you need to slow down, take a break or modify, please feel free at any time. Hydrate regularly. All right, so let's start with just a very brief grounding meditation. So go ahead and relax your feet down flat on the floor, soles of your feet down flat on the floor, palms of your hands resting on your lap. You can close your eyes if you'd like to or just keep them open and look softly in front of you. And begin by focusing on your breathing. Become aware of the inhale. and the exhale. And as you focus on the breath, you'll most likely just naturally begin to deepen it. So deepening and lengthening both the inhale and the exhale. And as you do that, you might feel a sense of calm or relaxation releasing of any stress that's in your body. Good. Again, if you want to close your eyes, go ahead and do so. We're just going to take a couple more nice deep breaths here to start and getting completely relaxed. Big inhale and an even slightly longer exhale. Continuing to breathe deeply as we move into our stretches and our yoga poses, go ahead and begin to lengthen your spine now. So you're no longer resting against the back of your chair. You can still keep your feet down flat on the floor. We're going to begin by just reaching all the way up. This is our normal final stretch. We're going to add it at the beginning here. Inhale and then exhale as you open through the shoulders and chest. Let's do that again. Inhale. Really lengthen the spine as you reach up. Now this time, as we reach up, lengthen the spine, stretch the fingers toward the ceiling, and then we're going to lean to the side, stretching that back, and lean to the other side. Good, let's do each side one more time. Make sure your shoulders feel comfortable. Breathing through it back to center. Take a hold of the elbows. If your shoulders feel okay, you can give yourself a nice stretch there. If not, go ahead and just release that out if it hurts the shoulders to be in this position. And then you're going to come down and give yourself just a big hug and circle your wrist. And circle the other way. that out I'd like for you to move just slightly forward in your chair now so about halfway forward then you're going to grab the hands together behind the back rotate the shoulders back lift the chin lift the chest so now you're arching the back just slightly staying in comfortable range of motion and release it out reach forward into tabletop pose flattening the back out remember the head always stays above the heart we're never dropping it down Rest the elbows on the legs, relax that back. Breathing. Oh, we got a dog. 
dog cameo. It's tater tot. He is very clingy today, so good morning, tater tot. All right, go ahead and roll all the way up, and then we're just going to loosely move side to side here. As a dog, of course, he needs all the attention. Howdy. And come back to center. Go ahead and roll those shoulders front to back. And then relax them down and nod your head up and down. Always stay in comfortable range of motion here. You're breathing through it. tuck the chin down at the bottom. Tuck your chin in towards your collarbones and press your palms down towards the floor. Make sure your shoulders are rotated back and down. Shoulder blades are just slightly retracted. And release that out. All right, go ahead and come all the way up with the head and slide back in your chair. We're gonna do some stretches for the legs, the lower body. So we'll go ahead and begin with the glute stretch. You're gonna hold behind your thigh, bring that knee up towards you as far as you can, and then bring your forehead down towards your knee. Just do what you can with it. And bring your head back up, and now let's circle from the ankle. Both directions. And extend the leg out and circle from your Good. Now bring the heel down to the floor, lift the toes up, lengthen the spine, sit all the way up. We're going to start by reaching up as we inhale and forward fold as we exhale. Nice flat back there, reaching toward the toes. Just go as far as you can. You can bend the knee as much as you need to, but see if you can grab a hold of the toes and lift them back up towards the knee so that you can get the calf stretch and then bringing the chest down towards your leg is going to give you that hamstring stretch. Keep breathing through it, relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Now release that out. You're just gonna press the sole of the foot down towards the floor and then roll all the way back up. And let's do the other side. So moving back in your chair all the way. Bring that knee up towards the chest. Remember to hold behind the thigh rather than in front of the shin just to keep that knee safe. Bring your forehead down towards your knee. Just go as far as you can. And bring your head back up and circle your ankle. And yes, these are the same socks I wore in the last video. Change direction. I just love these, they're such a fun color. Okay, go ahead and extend all the way out. You're gonna circle from your hip. You can continue to hold under the leg for support if you want to. I'm doing that, but you don't have to do that. Change direction. And bring the heel down. All right, so we're gonna lift the toes up, and again, we're gonna start by lengthening the spine. Reach all the way up as you inhale. And forward fold as you exhale, reaching for those toes. Bend the knee as much as you need to. Lift the toes up towards your shin, towards your knee. Get that calf stretch and lean forward to get that hamstring stretch. It's okay to not have the leg completely extended. All right, release, sole of the foot down towards the floor. Got tater tot over here. All right, go ahead and roll all the way up. Good job. Let's go ahead and slide back. And we're gonna do one more here for the lower body on each side. So we're going to do, well actually we'll do two. We're going to do our figure four stretch and then we're going to do eagle pose. All right, so I'll show you the modifications on both of those. So for the figure four stretch, which is the piriformis stretch, figure four is just what I call it. Um, it's also known as pigeon pose if you're doing it in a mat yoga class. That's what they generally call it. This is our chair version of it. So if you have any problem with bringing the foot up to the other leg, just cross the ankles and you can do the same thing. If you're okay, 
with bringing the foot up. Go ahead and do so. Remember that you don't have to bring that knee down very far if it's not okay. Hip hinge forward. We want to avoid rounding or hunching. So you're going to lengthen the spine and lean forward right there at the center. So we're not off to the right, we're not off to the left. And if you feel a strong stretch and you can't come any further, that is completely fine. Just breathe. Do as much as you can. Maybe slowly lowering into it a little bit further. Gator, you're on camera a little bit. Breathe into it. All right, so from here, we're gonna go into our eagle pose. And I'm gonna do this a little bit opposite of the way that I normally do it because we're gonna do the leg portion first. So you can sit all the way back up and if you're okay, cross the leg over the top. And again, if you're not, just continue with the ankles crossed and just do the upper body part of it. Now, or, um, advanced modification on this one is to come around and tuck the ankle behind the other calf. You don't have to do that, but if you're flexible and you feel comfortable with that, you may do that part too. Now, notice which leg is on top. We're gonna do the opposite arm on top. So we're gonna come across and we're gonna have the opposite arm on top. So the variations that you can do here, you can hug, you can touch the backs of your hands, or if you're feeling okay with it, you can come all the way back around and hook your thumbs. And then whatever variation you're doing, you're gonna sit up a little taller, you're going to lift your elbows, and you're going to look up. And don't forget to breathe. Go ahead, go ahead and release that out. That's a fairly strong stretch. So we're gonna uncross the arms and legs, stretch that top leg out to the side. Let's do our reach up and over. I always love this one, it feels so good on the back and rotate back, press your palm up towards the ceiling, and then rotate across on the diagonal. This should feel like a nice stretch for the upper back. Just wiggle those fingers and release it out. And you can step in. All right, I'm gonna grab a quick drink of water and then we're going to do the same sequence on the other side, starting with the figure four pose. Please take time to hydrate. So again, the modification is crossing the ankles. If you're not able to bring the foot up, if you've had hip replacement surgery or any other reason that you're told not to be rotating that hip. All right, if you're okay with it, go ahead and bring the foot up again. It's okay if the knee's not down very far. Don't worry about that. The key is just getting a really good stretch here with good form. So we don't wanna round the back. We don't wanna hunch the shoulders. We wanna keep the spine lengthened and lean forward. And you're to feel a strong stretch but it shouldn't be painful it should be a strong but comfortable stretch so don't force yourself any further than you're okay with so piriformis and a little bit down the outside of the thigh and just breathe and let yourself work into this stretch a little bit further relax your neck relax your shoulders back up we're going to go into our eagle pose next so remember if you need to just keep the ankles crossed that's totally fine if you're okay crossing the legs over you can do that and if you're okay crossing the ankles you can do that as well so same as the other side we're going to do the opposite arm on top so know which leg we have on top opposite arm on top and then you can either hug your shoulders touch the backs of the hands or Come all the way back around. So three variations on that. Now sit all the way up as tall as you can. Lift the elbows. Look up. And I hope you like my dog. Because he looks like he's going to participate today. I'm back in the normal setting with the barn door. You may have noticed that. All right, go ahead and uncross the arms and legs. Stretch that top leg out to the side. We're gonna put the inner part of the foot down. Rest this elbow on the leg. Big reach up and over, rotate back. Look up, press up. And across on the diagonal. Reaching, wiggling those fingers. And release, go ahead and come all the way up and step in. All right, so we are gonna move to some standing exercises. You are going to have the chair there. 
So if you, for any reason, don't feel comfortable with the standing, go ahead and just stay, stay seated. You can do a lot of these from the seated position, but I do want to show some standing ones. So let's go ahead and come up. And again, make sure that you have a nice sturdy chair there for support. I apologize, I don't have really good lighting in this room, so hopefully you can still see well enough. We're gonna start with our cat cow standing today. So take a hold of the top of the chair. We're gonna take just a small step back for cat cow. All right, so we are rounding and arching the back. So the first part, your cat, you're rounding the back. Tuck your chin down and tuck your tailbone under. Inhale here, and then as you exhale, flatten out the back or slightly arch it. You're tilting the top of the pelvis forward. You're pushing your tailbone back towards the wall behind you and just neutral neck and either neutral spine or a slight arch in that lower back. Now just move back and forth between those two. Inhale as you round. Exhale as you flatten out or arch. Side for a moment just to show you this you don't have to turn to the side I'm just going to show you so it's a little easier for you to see round and flatten out hopefully you can see what I mean here you're just working the back that lower back that upper back moving through comfortable range of motion as always one more time Let's go ahead and do our downward dog, all right? So again, I'm gonna stay to the side just so you can see it. You can stay right where you are, but you're gonna take a bigger step back. I'm moving the chair to make sure I stay on camera, but you don't have to do that. So for this one, we are flattening out the back. This is our modified downward dog. Ears coming down by the shoulders. Press that tailbone towards the wall behind you. Lengthen the spine. You can soften the knees a little bit if you need to. If it's a bit too strong of a stretch through your hamstrings and calves. And then slowly step back in and come all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move my chair back to the front here because we're gonna be doing some exercises off to the side. Let's go ahead and roll the shoulders to that you're hydrating and then we're going to come to the side of the chair and do some poses here so beginning with our tree pose you're going to be standing to the side of the chair you're shifting the weight to the inside leg so remember as always when you're standing on one foot your center of gravity is no longer in the middle it's on the side you're standing on so what I mean by that is visually realigning yourself so that your center of gravity is now shoulder, hip, knee, ankle. That will help you with your balance as will spreading your toes out, whether you have shoes on or just socks or barefoot, spreading those toes out. Now for your tree pose, you can keep the toes down or you can come up a little higher if you feel okay with that. You just don't want to press on the knee joint or the standing leg. If you feel okay, you can come even higher. It's completely up to you. Open the hip as much as you can. Then you're gonna bring one or both hands into center. So depending on your balance, one or both hands into center. Very nice. Now I'd like you to try a little extra challenge here by closing the eyes. And you can always put that foot down. You're gonna find it's a lot harder. Use your chair as needed. It's a lot harder with the eyes closed. I'm gonna modify to the toes down for this. And I'm still leaving the chair. So you notice how important your vision is to your balance. All right, go ahead and shake out the arms and legs. Let's do the same thing on the other side your breath make sure that you're not holding the breath as you're concentrating all right so we are again let me move these out of the way so you can see we're shifting our weight to the inside leg so the side closer to your chair and again your center of gravity is over here now shoulder hip knee ankle it's not in the midline that will 
help you to balance. Spread the toes out. Again, doing that tree pose where you keep the toes of the non-standing leg down. You can go a little bit higher as long as you're not pressing on the knee joint. You could come even higher still if you feel okay with that. Open the knee as much as you can and one or both hands coming into center. Lengthen the spine, make sure that you're breathing, relax the shoulders down. Make sure you're not tightening up through the upper trapezius, very, very common to do so. Relax your neck, relax your jaw. challenge to close the eyes. Again, put the foot down at any point that you need to. Grab that chair. Use it for support if you need it. This is much more challenging with the eyes closed. You'll notice immediately. All right. Very good work. You can open the eyes. Shake out those legs. All right. I am going to do our little combination with the warrior poses and the triangle pose. That's a combination that I really enjoy doing. So go ahead and come behind your chair. We're gonna do it behind the chair. All right, so go ahead and step forward with one foot, back with the other foot. We'll do both sides, so don't worry about which side you do. That back foot, we're gonna turn out just slightly. All right, so bending that front knee. We're gonna start right here. Warrior one, reaching the hands up. And then of course, at any point, I'm gonna move the chair so you can see me, but please go ahead and use the chair as much as you need it. That's why it's there. All right, so we're lifting the chin and the chest here. That front knee is bent. And now moving into our warrior two. Go ahead and bring those arms back down. Hands are level with the shoulders. Chest is up, a little bit more knee bend. And then into our warrior three, reaching the hands forward. Now you're gonna shift the weight onto the front leg. So the back leg is just there to support you. The primary foot is the front foot, so the majority of the weight is there. Keep breathing through it. All right, now go ahead and bring the weight evenly between the feet again, even distribution, and straighten that front leg. Now, if you need to catch your breath for a moment, go ahead and do so. All right, so now moving into the second part, we're gonna reach out, but this time, we're just reaching that front hand up toward the ceiling, palm facing in towards you, back hand reaching down towards the foot behind you. It's not gonna come very far, that's okay. And now reverse it. So your front hand is reaching down towards your front foot and your back hand is reaching up. Again, if you need the chair for support, you'll notice you'll be a, might be a little bit off balance there. Go ahead and use that. And now rotate back so that both hands are reaching towards your foot. Head above the heart, please do not drop the head down. Breathing through it, go ahead and slowly walk the hands all the way up. All right, great job. Step in again, keep the chair there available, whether it's right in front of you or off to the side, and we are going to switch to the other foot in front. Going through that same sequence, big step forward with the front foot, big step back. That back foot can be slightly turned out for a little bit more stability, and we're going to begin with the warrior poses. So bend that front knee. Now weight is still centered between the feet here. Go ahead and begin with your warrior one. Reach all the way up, lift the chin, lift the chest. If you're breathing, make sure you're not elevating the shoulders up towards the ears though. And now moving into your warrior two. Shoulders are back, hands are level with your shoulders. You can bend into that front knee a little bit more now. Nice and strong, looking towards your front hand again sure you're not dropping the hands down too far. And now moving into the warrior three, we're reaching forward. And now you are shifting onto that front leg. So toes are just down on that back foot, weight is on the front foot. 
and come back to center. Go ahead and relax here for a moment. Weight is evenly distributed between your feet. Catch your breath. All right, so moving into our triangle pose. Reaching that front hand up, stretching the fingers toward the ceiling. You can look up if you'd like to. Back hand reaching down. It's going to come just about as far as your knee. Just go into a comfortable stretch here. And then reversing it. Front hand reaching down. Again, use that chair if you feel like you're going to lose your balance or just take time to recenter. But slowly reach down as far as you can. And then reaching that top hand up if you'd like to. You can rotate a little bit more looking towards your hand. It's up to you. See if you can go a little bit deeper into that stretch. And now rotating back down. Bringing that top hand over. So both hands are reaching towards your foot, the head above the heart. Okay, slowly roll all the way up. Great job. Step in, shake your legs out. Let me do a quick time check here. Where are we at? Okay, we have time for warrior pose. So we're going to do that before we come back to the chair. Warrior to standing mountain is one of my favorite combinations. And then we'll do some sun salutation. out of my way. All right, so for our warrior pose, we're going to step out wide. We're going to turn the feet out so you have a nice stable stance here. We're going to bend the knees and lift the palms. Keep the chest up. Inhale. Exhale and come up into standing mountain. You're going to straighten the legs now. Relax the shoulders down. Palms are forward. Chest is lifted. You can close your eyes if you'd like to. Inhale. Exhale. Let's repeat each of those one more time. Warrior pose. Good. Make sure you're breathing through it. And standing mountain. Relax those arms down. Palms are forward. Close your eyes if you'd like. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Very good. Now from here, you can open the eyes and we're going to go into our sun salutations. Inhale as you reach all the way up. Exhale, forward fold, sweeping the arms across in front. Head above the heart as you come down, but relax the back and flow through. Inhale. Exhale forward. Do that one more time. And if you like, as you come down to the bottom, you can relax. Sway a little bit if you want to. Head above the heart, of course, but relaxing the neck. And then one vertebrae at a time, we're going to roll all the way up. Roll those shoulders out. Relax the shoulders down and just move the head side to side now. So we'll do a little ear to shoulder, but of course, staying in your own comfortable range of motion. I think instead of doing a seated meditation to finish with, we're just going to do a standing one. I think that would be a nice variation. But of course, if you are getting fatigued and you want to sit down, please go ahead and do so. Make the workout your own. Make the exercise your own. All right, go ahead and step back in. You can step to a slightly narrower stance, but make sure that you feel like you're stable. And we're going to be in a relaxed standing position here. So we're just finishing with a standing meditation. So palms are just facing in towards your legs. Shoulders are completely relaxed down. You're aware of the ground or the floor underneath your feet. So let yourself be grounded there. You're relaxing your neck, your shoulders, your tongue and jaw are relaxed. You can close your eyes if you want or just look a couple of feet ahead of you softly. Inhale. Exhale. Let your body be relaxed. You're all done with our 
hard part of the workout or should have been too hard. It should have felt pretty good, I hope. Please go ahead and do so if that's better for you. And then you can open your eyes if you had them closed and we'll do that final stretch just like we open. This time we're standing. Inhale or seated if you're seated. Exhale. Once more. Inhale. Exhale nice and loose here. You don't want to be rigid with it at all. almost floppy. All right, just shake out those legs, shake out those ankles. Great job, everybody. You made it all the way to the end. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really, really appreciate it. I appreciate your ongoing support over the last year plus that we've been doing these videos. I hope that they are helpful to you and provide some good exercise to you. As always, please remember to like subscribe, hit that notification bell. If you're on YouTube, I would love to have more subscribers. Um, leave a comment if you want. It helps the algorithms. If you're watching on Facebook, again, like the page. Um, make sure that you are getting the videos, the notifications for the videos that are coming up in your newsfeed when I do post. And let's see, what else was I going to say? Um, I think that's it. Just thank you again for your ongoing support. I really appreciate it. I will get new videos out as often as I can. Thanks for sticking with me through this to the very end. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.